That's a Subway sandwich, bro. Hey, dude, take that bite. shit. I'm flogging in my whole wallet. Just, just, just. I'll give. And let us all, as a collective community, use our powers of judgment. And what did this guy do? Just he, guess. He molested somebody. Dude. Mafia. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be like molestation. He's a molester, bro. Con artist. Or he masturbate called. in public. Oh, yeah, maybe. He called Mexican restaurants and got free food. Oh. Yeah, that bastard! That's dirty. Yeah, That's like bastard. the lowest of low. Not to my people, you jerk. Yeah, what a guy. <laughs> when you do your voice, yeah. I picture that guy. Which one? The this guy. No, no, you, got yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> the some the some bitch voice. Bro, bro. God damn, that was my football coach. Some bitch. Let me tell you something, some bitch. It's like, that was like a coach. second bounce in the bitch. I think I know who that is. It's a lineman coach. Let me tell you something, you get down, you get, grab your cojones right there, some bitch. You put one right there, and then you go, you hit that motherfucker right in the fucking face. I'll tell you that right now. If you're scared, you're in the wrong goddamn sport. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> around the corner, son. All right? <laughs> Cheerleading. Yeah. Dude, you did cheerlead. Yeah, I did cheerlead. That's why I went around the corner. Anyway, let's continue. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's a great warm up for your show tonight. Oh, man. So this guy is actually a former police officer. Even better. Who retires. I'm retired. Does his entire fucking thing. He retires. And then a week later, he's arrested for dealing drugs to high school kids. That's a good market, though. Whoa. If you're gonna deal to anybody, it'd probably be high school kids. But do they have money, though? High school kids, well, it depends what kind of high school. True, if it's, got, if it's those rich schools, because high school kids aren't buying the best shit. College and above. I mean, it, I guess it depends, right? What Maybe, kind of drug was he selling? In my mind, if it's like a private yeah, high school. Yeah, true. They got money. You know, you never know. So, uh... He was arrested in February 2021 after he was seen giving drugs to a 17-year-old girl in the parking lot of a high school in Harrington. The drugs, which were inside an unmarked prescription pill bottle and were intended for the girl's mother, included 27 uh, acetaminophen and hydrocodone. Hydro, hydro Wait, acetaminophen? That's Tylenol. That dude. is regular, but hydrocodone pills and three baggies of fentanyl. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, fentanyl? Yeah. Damn, dog. You could, what kind of problems are these high school kids? Who mixes Tylenol and fentanyl? I would assume it's maybe putting it in a prescription thing as if, like, to not get caught. It's not like he's giving her a baggie of cocaine. It's probably he's giving her a over the counter, like, here. Here's some I, uh, ibuprofen in an Advil bottle. Ah, but then sense. inside is yeah, also yeah. fentanyl and stuff like that. Thinking like a true drug dealer. Whoa. I mean, that's what you do when you travel, right? You, sometimes you have like random prescriptions and the Allegedly. Allegedly, it's just put it in an Advil <laughs> bottle because that's easy to carry. Everybody understands what I don't do is. drugs. I don't know about you. I don't do them. I sell them. Mm. <laughs> so when police executed a yeah, search warrant at his home a few days later, they found and seized 15 guns that had been reported stolen in Hancock and Washington counties over the previous He's a gangster. Years. He'd be just taking them from like evidence room from the fucking police stations where he stationed at and stuff. He was just that that kind of entrepreneurial crooked cop, you know what I mean? Wasn't he, doing super he, dirty, but did he lose his job as a cop or did he retire? He retired. He, said, he, he retired, retired and yeah. started selling drugs to kids. Yeah. That's a good racket. Damn, they're not paying enough. I thought the cops got paid enough. Did, did he have his own team of like cop drug dealers? Ooh. That'd be cool, huh? That's a good story. That would be too yeah. hypocritical. That's almost uh <clears throat> what's that what's that movie? American Gangster. Is that what it is? 21 jumps? Yeah, when they were the, the soldiers, he was like smuggling drugs from the soldiers. No, but that's still good. That was that was a what's his gladiator Russell Crowe still being a good guy and being overly good. Right? But there were cops that were like taking. Yeah, yeah, cops. and they were pissed at him because he turned in the money. Spoiler alert. It's like every cop that are here. I don't know. I, I heard on the on the radio that there was like I think he was retired or he was like a cop that was like higher up and he was exploiting like younger women. And was like basically blackmailing them, and like other cops from like that same area saw what was happening, and then they just ignored it. That sounds like every veil. department. Yeah, that's the blue veil, right? Yeah. Like, uh, right or wrong. Even if you know that that's wrong, you know that you'll be punished if you fucking say something. So it's not just like, a, oh, like I gotta protect all my cop buddies. It's also like, oh, if I rat them out, I might get fucked up. You know mm. what I mean? So guilty by association. A little mm -hmm. bit. A mm -hmm. little bit. But, I mean, that's why I guess this guy had the right mindset. He was like, after I retire, maybe it makes more sense. Mm. <clears throat> but I could only imagine, right? Especially if you have, you know, access or you have power in these restricted areas. Yeah, I wouldn't think you'll make money with high school kids. I know, right? Go I for think you'll come money. up. Like, I think you'll just go to, a, like, a, you know, neighborhoods that buy drugs. Like, college kids or some shit. And I feel like the charges would be worse. <clears throat> 
dealing yeah. Because they're minors? Yeah. yeah, it's too risky. He knows the law. You know what it has to be, dude? He's got to have like an inside connect knowing that like these kids are buying this type of drug and he's like, oh, I can just sell these fucking kids. Maybe his son, his yeah. friends and shit. He's like, these motherfuckers. Do they find more drugs at his house? Yeah. They found more guns and stuff. Um, prior <clears throat> to the February 1st, 2021 incident at the high school, uh, this dude on multiple occasions allegedly gave drugs to the girl's mother in exchange for what police euphemistically describe in court documents as a non-monetary form of payment. So, <laughs> so a non-monetary. <laughs> Whoa! Grab it! Got grab it! Got grab it! In his. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Dude. Sorry. My bad. My bad. It happened. Sorry. It happened in his I'm cruiser. So sorry. I'm just saying. Sorry, dude. It got way too grab. That was that shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the shot took you cannon. over, bro. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it was it was the same it, it girl. Kind of look like you know what you're doing. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, a technique. Strokes were fucking. I great. have very good fixed point, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like I understand exactly wow. yeah. where it. I could almost imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. that's a subway sandwich, bro. Hey, dude, dude take that shit. Foggy in my whole wallet. Wow. Wow, yeah. dude, that was amazing. Are right, you going? Right. Just fucking have everything I got with that shit. Dude. You're pulling those fucking moves, dude. Dude, he drilled it down, bro. Dancer this dude. motherfucker oh, just drilled it. Inspired by the Dark Knight. Yeah, man. Fucking. He did the angles, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That was 3D, right? Hey, dude, you just gotta believe. Yeah, dude. You gotta believe. You're doing it, Peter. You're doing it, Peter. You're doing it. Pulled it from the back and over. Yeah, dude. That's a. Uh, so that was a fucking. So I that was training, a fucking right? sick ass man guy you pulled right now, dog. Holy What's shit. What's his name? I love to see Ryan and do that. Right. Anyways, well, his best dance crew, what you know? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, apparently, she was sucking his dick, I guess, um, yeah. or something. Oh, that's what that was. No. Oh, guys, it's non-monetary form of payment in his cruiser. That's that's what it says. Yeah. On the official court. A program. long conversation. What if she like cleaned his cruiser or something? <laughs> Love like, like in and out, Love you know. Man. That is yeah. poor judgment just because she's a woman, Nick. That's not. Poor. Yeah, dude. Well, I'm trying to think of like yeah. things she you could have gave him an oil change. Yeah, yeah, yeah oil change. <laughs> change a spare tire or something. You know, you never know. What do you yeah, What do you think she did? Joy. Or dick suck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could be a dick suck. Maybe she baked him some fucking cupcakes. <laughs> not not monetary. I don't think she did anything. I think uh, he was just hoping that she would, that there would be some sort of incentive. Nah, she did. <laughs> Listen. Uh, he probably had a crush on her or something. Maybe, right. She that's what maybe she just flashed her boobs and then that's it. Boring. Listen. Not for fentanyl, bro. Yeah. Are you serious? Maybe for the, you maybe for the Advil. Yeah, Advil would be a little wow. fucking nip slip, but come on. <laughs> nip slip. <laughs> was it, so this is the same mother that he was giving the drugs to. So it's not technically the teen. It's the mom. Technically. And she's the mule. Yeah. She was the and it's the same person over and over. Uh, it, the one that he was originally kind of caught for prior, uh, yeah, but. Where do these people live? Uh, Maine. In, uh, I know who she voted for. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, a, that was one for your mind. It's like, wonder, like, who did she vote for? <laughs> Whoever you thought she voted for, that's who that's she, she voted for. That's the one, that's right. Uh, previously, uh, he had worked in law enforcement in Maine for 25 years before retiring at the top of 2021, before he was caught like a month later. Um, he served as a police officer in Ellsworth. Um, who cares about his past history? The fact is, he was a cop for his whole fucking damn career. And uh, in 2006, while employed as a deputy with the Washington County Sheriff's Department, he lost a bid to the Republican Party nominee for sheriff. No, he was still trying. He was trying to be fucking sheriff, didn't get that, so he decided to retire Shit, fuck afterwards. This. So he was running as a Democrat then? I'm yeah. Sandra. Republican Party. He lost a bit as the Republican Party nominee. Oh, okay. So he lost to a Democrat. Yep. Days after the primary loss, he was seen throwing a political opponent's campaign sign into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Later was it's convicted guy, of attempted dude. criminal mischief. Yeah, it's a fucking... And fined a hundred bucks. Fucking acts like a fucking fifth grader. We didn't get his yeah. weight. <laughs> like, damn, That's dude. really funny. Yeah. Is there footage of that? Yeah, I would love yeah, to see yeah. that. That's the, th the sign throwing specifically. Yeah. No, I only have footage of the non monetary shit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's too bad. It's too bad. Well, oh, God. what a fucking weirdo, dude. How do you get to that point as a cop to be like, fuck it, I'm gonna start selling drugs to he kids? Pr he probably just lost his mind, dude. There is an interview yeah. for a, a corrupt yeah. cop on Soft White Underbelly, and he tells his whole story of like, 
how he slowly became more and more corrupt and sold drugs and all that shit. It's pretty fucking wild. Is but it because like, the system's fucking convenient for him? It's almost like it's uh, easy. It's easy. Right? Like, everything's already there. It so really that's what just I, turns so into that was gonna be my theory. Kind of like like spoiled kids and shit. They ended up doing like weird things, like fucking torture, fucking sex type of shit. Because like they're so bored because yeah. they have everything. They just it's like serial killers. How they say they fuck with with like. Animals and cats and right. shit, and then they go to humans. I'm, like, I'm thinking about that one innocent ass fucking uh, experiment with kids. You remember when they left like a kid in an empty room? They're like, "All right, don't eat these Skittles, okay?" And they leave the room, but they have all these cameras on. And then some kids are like, "Yeah, Stranger Things." <laughs> no, no, just just in general. You don't know talk about these experiments. Some kids would be like, some kids yeah. obviously grab it. Some kids wouldn't and stuff like that. But I, I guess the same thing for a grown ass cop. I don't think cops are like the craziest uh, intellectuals right. in my opinion. But who knows? It's probably good. Um, and I imagine same shit. You got nothing but fucking guns and drugs and fucking money. That's right there. Money. Why not? Right there. And you see it every day. Right. And you know, 15 years in the business and you're like, I don't get a great paycheck. And you're like, yeah, and these drug dealers that you're catching are way more richer than you. Yeah. And you're just right. like, why? I'm doing the good thing. And I don't get I would love. be a corrupt cop. I'm just letting you guys 100%. Know. Okay. Corrupt okay. cop? That's why I stay uh, out of it. Me? I'm a good yeah. guy. What would you be? A corrupt cop or a good cop? <laughs> 25 years old, corrupt. 35 years old, good cop. Corrupt or good cop? Mm, maybe good, corrupt. Good corrupt? Good corrupt? <laughs> no, good oh, turn corrupt. Oh, good oh, turn corrupt. You try to do it. Good corrupt. Like, don't put me in a box. You were good and I then you corrupt. Well, hey, hey, in her defense, maybe she's saying, you know, I don't want to speak for you, but maybe she's saying some things I would stay good with and other things I would be corrupt for. Is that what you're saying? I don't know, but I feel like my morals won't let me do it. Then you're a good cop. You're a little too good there. You got the like blue will, already. I feel like you will steal it, and then you'll be like, hmm, you know, bring it back. Sorry, I was gonna take this, but. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but I should write a report for yeah, it, too. Yeah. Hi, I put this in my bag, but you know, I'm sorry, I didn't say it. Honestly, the only thing, the only thing I ever <laughs> stolen in my life was a pack of gum. You stole a pack of gum? Wow. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Weird. I felt weird. Yeah, I, I was like, I want some gum, and I just like took it. Cause it was like right by the cash register. My parents were checking out or whatever. <laughs> and I remember I offered it to my siblings. Like, hey, you want some gum? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, here. And they're like, where'd you get this? Like, I just grabbed it. And then afterwards oh, I was like thinking, like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You started Man, crying. <laughs> I did the same thing when I was a kid, but I got caught by my mom and she made me go up to them and tell them that I stole it. No, my parents never found out. But my favorite thing though was like when they used right, to have yeah. like gummy bears or candies like out in the dispensers and you, you can just like open it and then you oh, just yeah. like scoop it yourself and you put it in a bag. I used to steal all of them. I just like, yeah, I just like to grab Damn, them. you guys are fucking thieves. Yeah, you but, stole uh, stuff that was free? That's was sick. <laughs> it's pretty badass, no. bro. Yeah, shit, my mom. Hardcore, Jules. My mom would make me share my shit. She's like, you stole that thing out. Well, now you have to share with your brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Got it. I'd open the whole gum pack and oh, give everybody. I barely get anything out of it. My sister would be like, you're hiding a fucking piece. Whatever. Here you go. Shit. Good cop or corrupt cop? I think I would start being a good cop and then I'd eventually probably crack and then I'd start doing some crazy shit. Mm. Yeah. I'd probably be a wild boy. Oh, wild boy. I don't know, it depends on the context. Oh, come on, yeah, sorry, don't guys. get technical. Hey, I'm gonna get technical with you. So then come up with the context. Okay, let's say, okay, let's say, okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna fucking tell you something. Okay, shit. let's go. All right, we fucking, we're in. We fucking kick the door, Psh, whatever. Right, fucking cool. guns down, guns are blazing. I'm gonna take these motherfuckers to the car, I'll be back. You see the room full of cash like this. Oh, cash? I'm oh, cash? Um, and your mother needs surgery. Oh, absolutely. I'm taking... You made it easy for her. You made it, that's easy. No, for fuck that. boob job. Fuck that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want a new Chanel bag, bro. That's different. That's... You better get your mama some titties. <laughs> that's all she ever wanted. Uh, and I'm taking one, a little bit of extra just in case of... It's a botch job. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Botch job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking a little extra just in case I need a boob job. Yeah. In case. Yeah. So would you take the cash? I'm saying I'm out. I'm like I'm gonna go take this motherfucker in the car. <sighs> Fucking <hell. laughs> Yeah, but you did this, so I know you're in on it. No, no, I'm, I'm more like you know surrounding. No, you're like get the cash. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get the perimeter. Oh, that's, that, is this the robber? Get the, yeah, yeah, get the cash. Get the cash. Go. <laughs> no. Then I'm just gonna be like I'll be back. Fuck. This Give me some too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just, what do you do? Do you take the money, honestly? Well, I, I would think, does the operation know how much money you No, we, we were there to arrest You're him. You're writing the had report. nothing to do with him. Okay, then, um, <sighs> Patreon? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 take I would take some cash. I'd probably cash. take some cash. I think that's a victimless crime, bro. You take cash off a drug dealer, a drug bust, you're good, Listen, because I could probably do some good with it. Like get better, better a than boob job for your mom. Absolutely. <laughs> Problem solved. Not for Patreon. You? It's on the main channel. Oh yeah, for, uh, me? Nah, never. <sighs> yeah, I'm a good cop. Good cop. Puss. Yeah. My dumb ass will try to be like, I'm gonna fucking fix this right, from the inside. <laughs> I'm gonna take these corrupt motherfuckers out, and then like yeah. three months later, I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, dude, you get a face tat and everything. Yeah, it's sure. good. Mm. Yeah. What about you? Me? Yeah. Oh, corrupt guy. Corrupt, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking corrupt. Would you would you take would you take drug ass from the I, I would fucking take our thing, dude. Uh, I would say yeah, I wouldn't say drugs. I'll say dude, I'll be the up. last I'll guy do the drugs. Dude, I'll be the last guy at the locker room fucking everybody's like, alright, see you later, dude. Later, Todd, later, dude. Fucking Todd. Everybody's With money falling out dude. as he walks. Pivot in his room and shit and fucking. You know what I mean? Everything's getting yeah. jacked, dude. I'm taking everything in this bitch. We should be cops. Let's do it.